Welcome to my channel. I am Michelle and today we are going to do a custom transition that can be used in video or presentation. So let's head on over to Canva and I'll show you how it's done. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build our little centerpiece. So what we're going to do now, we're going to grab a square. We're going to go over to our color. Oh, we're going to go to our color. And I am going to pick this gradient here because I like to make them look kind of silvery, like kind of like silver. And then I'm going to pick a black. And then what I'm going to do is take it and make it, you can make it whatever size you want to, but I am going to make it that size. And then what I want to do is go like so and make it to where I want it. That's a good size. I'm going to put a little bit over each edge here. And then what I want to do after that is duplicate that because I want two of them. Once I get the size that I want, I'm going to make two of them. Then I'm going to grab another square. I'm going to make that small and long like so. And then because I want it coming from the bottom, if you want it coming from the top and coming down, you just put one at the bottom. So you're going to have to get you a little... Uh, I guess you can call it a tab. We'll call it a tab. I don't know what to call it. And then we're going to make that invisible, invisible. And then I'm going to duplicate that one and I'm going to bring that one over here. Make sure I got one on each one of them. I'm going to put that on the top after it's invisible. And I'm going to group these two together. I'm going to group these two together. Group. And then I'm going to move these. What you want to do now is Put them over top of each other, like so. And then what I want to do now, after that, I don't want to group them. I just want to hold them together, get them centered in the middle of the design, and then go hide them in the bottom. And that is your, I don't know, for lack of a better word, zipper, maybe. So now what we're going to do is grab another box. I am going to make a B and do that to cover one half. I will put a gradient in here. We'll use the Canva colors. And the, what I want to do now is I want another box. I'm going to duplicate that. I want another box. I'm going to put that on this side. I want to reverse the colors on the other side because I want the colors in the middle to match. So if you're doing gradients, do it that way. Um, I'm going to duplicate the page and I'm going to flip these around so the colors in the middle are the same. So the next thing I want to do, because I want to pull these off the pages, one day Canva will give us the white space to use, hopefully. And I'm going to make a tab on this one and then take this, make it invisible. We're going to make it invisible and then we're going to group this one like so. Let's make sure that we got enough of it. If not, we'll just go out further. Just go out further and try to make your squares the same so your gradient's kind of the same. And then what we'll do is we'll group these two, group it, and go ahead and move this one off the page, like so. And then we'll do the same thing here. I'm going to go into elements, grab me a little square. It doesn't matter how big your square is. You can make a square, uh, big, long, short. That's all up to you. It doesn't matter. As long as you got enough to pull off the page, and we're going to group those together, group, and then we're going to pull those off the page. So now everything is set up. So you want to just go and get your first um, photo, or you can actually do video too, just whatever you want to use. We'll put that. We're going to apply that to the background. We're going to set image to background, and we have our first one. So the first thing we want to do is have our doors closed because we're going to bring in our doors. Let's grab my other door. Where are you? Come here, baby. Here's my other door. Here's the center line. Here's the center line. We'll bring that down. Bring that to the center line here. And that is our first slide. So if you want to do any kind of text or anything like that, you can do your text where it comes on or come and comes off at this point since so this Bom, 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 bom. Okay, come on, my little bump bump. Yep. 
Okay, so now that just looks like a oh, oh a little bit more. Be me, don't be me. Don't be me. Here we go. Don't be me. So now it just looks like a thing. So if you just wanted to throw some text up there as like a heading or something like that, and you could do that. So now we want to go into our next slide. So let's go over to our next slide. We're going to duplicate this slide. What I'd want to do is probably pull this off. Hold on, let me do something real quick. And I'm going to delete that. Let's take this so we can slide this off at the same time. So if I want to slide this off, I want to put enter here so I have some extra space. And now let's go. We're going to duplicate that slide. And then I want to take this where it gets pulled up. Maybe it's going to be sloppy because I'm just doing this quickly. And then what I want to do on here is I want to go, let's go into position, layers. Let me grab both of these, control to click the other one. And then what I want to do is bring these up like so. Oh, hold on. They're behind my pages. So what I want to do now is bring these up above these two and make sure I go because I screwed up, go and do the same thing on this one and make sure these are in the front like so. And then I should have my lift. So I'm going to go now. I'm going to put my match and move in between. You know me, I'm going to turn it all the way up and then I'm going to test it and I'm going to see what it looks like. So I've got that there. And then I have my first animation. So I didn't pull that up high enough. So what I want to do now, because I didn't see it, is go ahead and pull that up the rest of the way. Oh, goodness. Stop grabbing what I don't want you to grab. All right, let's go over here. And oh, I forgot. Grab these two anyway. You want to grab them together. That It just makes it easier. Well, come on. Mr. Canva, Mrs. Canva. Okay, we're going to get it, y'all. We're going to get it. This is what you call live action. So we're going to go pull both of those up like so, get them on the page, and that should be our first one. So the next thing we want to do is duplicate the page again, and then what you want to do is you're going to go ahead and pull off your squares and make sure you pull them to the same spot on the edge. So if you're going to pull them all the way off, like so. And then you're going to take one, each one of these and go to the edge. So if you have a little bit showing it's not going to, because these are going to stay on. I mean, I guess because we, if you want to pull them all the way off too, you can put a tab right here in this section. So now... Let's do our match move because it didn't travel. We'll do our match move. We're going to turn it all the way up. Oh, I should have applied the uh, photo to the background so it doesn't feel like it wants to move. Um, so we're going to make sure our photo is all the way in the back. Oh, it's already to the background. All right. So let's uh, change the speed on this a little bit to a 1.8. If you're doing a presentation, of course, it's going to be faster, but... And apply it to all pages and uh, let's see what we got going on here what oh why did that move hold on home why did you just decide to go somewhere you weren't supposed to i guess i must have touched it okay so let's look and, and you got that and then you're going to have your doors open like so and then what you can do to close it of course you can go in the one before duplicate that page and then you can bring that over to the end and that will show, and I wish the magic move had traveled, but it didn't. So we're going to go here. And then we can see this part will start from here. You can see that open. You can see it close back. Um, try to make sure that, see how you can see that little gap coming in it right there? That everything is kind of close when you do your open part. Um, let's see. take that i want to go in my position here grab which one that's that one let's grab this one and bring it in a little bit bring it in here we go let's go right behind this one and let's go to the other one and bring it in right behind this one 
Now, here is another trick you can use if you're not using it coming up from the center. If you don't do this part where it's coming up from the center, you can just take your end pieces right here and group them in into your whole squares. That way you don't have to worry about it. But if you do the little trick at the beginning where it's popping up and you want this piece to move back and forth, you're going to have to keep them separated because if you group them together, it doesn't work. But if you just want the door action open and close, say you're going to make like you're going to decorate these and make these look like real doors or change information and make these look like real doors. Um, you can just group each one of these squares to the end and make sure you overlap them. Um, we'll do one like that real quick. So let me do a space so it'd be a different one. So let's duplicate this real quick. So if you want to do this, all you got to do when you do the next one, you're going to Let's finish this one first. No, we'll do that one. Um, let's delete that page. So what I'm going to do now with this, I need it to close. I need this to make the action to close. So I'm going to duplicate this, and then I'm going to leave one closed, and you can just shorten up the seconds on it for that. And then I'm going to duplicate it again. And then when you want to change the thing, you're going to grab this, detach it from the background, and then you'll go delete that and then you'll just go pick up another photo or video let's grab that one attach it to the background and then you'll be able to do the same thing again you'll duplicate the page bring your doors open i'm going to do it real sloppy y'all so forgive me because i'm going to do it sloppy so i could show you this other piece real quick so i'm going to go here I'll go here put this one over now we'll go here, bring this one over like so, and bring this one over like so. And then you can look here, we'll go from this one, and you can look and it'll open those up. So if you don't want to do the animation at the beginning and you want to avoid trying to work on your timing with these two, here is the other way that I would do this. Let's duplicate this page right here because we can use this. So I'm going to duplicate this page. I am going to bring it around over here. And what you can do with this is just group these things together like so. So I'm going to go into position. I'm going to grab that and I want it to go with that one. So I'm going to hit the control key and I am going to group these. And then those two are friends. Um, yeah, I got enough space for a tab. So then I want to do the same with these two. I'm going to grab that over. Now, if you don't want to do the animation at the beginning, you can just do these like this, create your doors and go like and do it this way, which is a very simple, fast, easy transition that you can cre create. And we'll group those together. And then what you want to just do is you want to take these and center them up, overlap them like so. It's not very centered. Sorry about that, guys. But like so, and then you can just go like this. You'll duplicate the page. Move each one sideways. Not fast and sloppy like I just did, but um, move each one sideways to the center. If you want to take it all the way off, that's your preference. But this will make it like super more simple. This way. You do like this. And then you have it. Then you don't have to worry about working on your timing for like these if they're going and separating up here but you have to going to get your <clears throat> you're going to have to get your timing straight on those to make those not do that which can be a little bit pain in the oh, pain in the butt so we'll look at this one real quick and you can see because they're grouped together they kind of stay together so that makes a smoother transition and then you're going to just do the same thing. You're going to duplicate this page here. You're going to bring this over to the back and that's going to close. So you're going to go open, close, and then the same thing as before, duplicate because you want that close because this one is in motion and you want one to stay solid before you do your next one. Duplicate your page, go in here, Detach this from the background, like so. 
delete this. Uh, go and put up your next your next photo. Uh, whatever this is, let's some some jolly merriments here, and set this as the background. Um, I don't know why I got two of these right here. Why? Oh, you know me, hitting the wrong button. Don't, don't, don't. And then you will we'll look right here, and boom. Oh, goofball, that would be me. Oh, wait a minute, we want to change the picture here. It is very early in the morning, y'all. So let's go and do that here. So we're going to just put this here. We're going to go into position. We're going to take this one out, trash, uh, and set this one to the background. So image to background, and... Open the doors. Open the doors, Michelle. Wake up, wake up. It is like very, very, the roosters ain't even making noise yet early at my house. And dun, 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 and there you go. And you just go keep doing that and you can change your pictures and your videos. I'm sorry, this is a little gobbledy to goo gooey. It's very early in the morning. I love you guys. Of course, if you have any questions and you're going like, girl, you're crazy. Um, just let me know in the comments. I love you guys. I will see you on the next one. Bye. Oh, by the way, you can actually just turn this the other way if you want to use it. If you need to do these for something else, you can also do this. And just make your things bigger and do them the other way. I don't know why it's so hard when you do the turnies that way. You can do it that, this way. And go up and down. Same same principle if you want to do, to do top to bottom. You're just going to make bigger squares this way and make sure your little tab thing is this way. Just a PS. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.